Welcome back to Billy's Bluff, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to crack on with our passengers today. So first up, we're going to get in the passenger line that we had to do last time out, and that is going from the gap up to Yakhead. So we've got that connection done and dusted, okay? Then what we're going to be doing today is we're actually not going to be working on any of the freight stuff at the moment. We're still going to be continuing with passengers because I want to get Sandy Shores hooked up with the gap, okay? And I think we can do something really fun with it. We've got our branch line heading off this way already around these um, these windmills or turbines. And we're going to actually head down this coastline. We're going to try and skim this coastline here. Now, I haven't decided yet. This is where I've come to a bit of a, what do I do down here? Now, if we get down this level, we can either tuck around this way and go through there to come in. That can, that can probably go. Or we can somehow come around the front here which I don't know if I want to do that more. I think I think cutting inland just a touch past the farms might be nice. And then somehow either coming around here into Sandy Shores before heading back out. Now, I don't know if we're going to go back the same direction with it or if we're going to just go up this way and we're going to tack onto this line here and then head back in, which might be quite fun also. So we've got a couple of options there to go with. Either way, we'll get some great scenic of like water, cities, massive farmland. I think it'll just be a really nice little scenic tour for that train. However, like I said, first things first this morning, we have to start figuring out our line and there's no other way to do it than to just start punching it in. So we know that we've got our track in. We don't know if the track's going to work as well as we intended or want it to, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So here's the thing. We're going from Yakhead, right? So we know that this is our port of call here. I'm gonna go with the bright green actually, just so I can see what's going on. And somehow we know it's gotta get down to here. So let's see what happens. Actually, let's zoom out about there. See what happens as soon as we click on this. Okay, so it's given us that direction there. Brilliant. And then it just wants to head back the same direction. However, we need you now. Great. That's not great though. It should be not uh, actually yeah yeah yeah. So it should be coming. It's going two ways. So I need to tell it. I actually need to tell it to come this way. So let's see what happens. Where did I have a did I have a one way signal out here or not? Ah, here we go. We'll use this. Right, so <clears throat> it's taken it, but let's just see what that does down at this way. So you're coming in here. Okay, and you can get out there. That's brilliant. That's actually fine. Oh, and that's even better. So you are peeling off there, which is great, which is what I want you to do, which is why we have that diamond there. Okay, that's pretty easy. That's worked. And then you feed back onto that line. Brilliant. So what probably will happen is if we do send a train, let's start zoom out. If we do send a train from Sandy Shores up around this direction, they are they do have the track to run down. However, hmm, it is going to get caught. They are, we're just going to have to do some signal work, I think, which is uh, about the crux of it. And then it would have to peel down into here, which is fine because it can then come into this station, this side of the station here, which is exactly what we want, and then head back out. Excuse me while I clear my throat. Okay, so, um,. That's that train. I think we just buy a train and see how it goes now, don't we? Do we? Well, we do. You haven't got catenary everywhere, so you are... Ooh, now. Oh, speaking, there's, an, there's a train just there. So, it depends on what we've got in the shed, as opposed to what we want to buy here. Ah, you know what I didn't check? I didn't check that line. How it comes through here. So... It comes down this way. Oh, comes around, around that way. That's a very convoluted way to get in and around, isn't it? Can you not dip off this way and do some switching over? So you're happy to, oh wow, it does a lot of around trips here. That's, <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. What kind of convoluted mess have we got here? So. You want to head out that way, 
this is where we've got to figure out how this is actually going to work. I, I thought you might be able to get there, which is fine. However, I, uh, this, is what, this is what's throwing me for a loop. It's actually going up and around to come in again, which is not really what I wanted to do. But there is no way... There is no way to, for you to get up there, is there? Hmm. No, unless you can. There's no, no, there's just no way for it. Unless we can put a switch down here, which I don't think we can. Uh, give it a go. What happens if I do this? I don't know if this will work, but we will give it a go anyway. I want um, Portuguese, this one, thanks. Uh, can I get a, I can get a massive switch like that. Can I get a double massive switch? And we're going to switch. Now, I don't know if this is going to wreak havoc with all of my train trains now in their lines, which is what you run the risk of all the time, and I it worries me. But bring it up. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's going to wreak havoc with a lot of lines. It doesn't seem to have. It seems that everything is still taking its path. What it does mean though now is our train does come in one direction. It comes up here. And in, it, it is the only train that will use that. Uh, that is fine. What if I switch you... What if I switch you to be the outside one at here? Yeah, okay, so... Where's the new line? A line one, please. We haven't named it yet. What line one, please? Manage the line. At Yakhead. What happens if you do this? Now, you do switch to that, which is brilliant. Switches you to the outside down here, but you can still get across, so that's fine. There's a lot of trains that are sharing this this place, and I'm all about it. I did, however, I, I kind of wished you would come in this way, but I haven't really got a way for you to get up in there, unless you're going this direction over this way, which is totally fine. I think that's fine, uh, because you're coming in that way, and you're going that way anyway. And that's all I want you to do. I think... I think we're happy to take that, I'll be honest. It's only sharing this track ooh, with that train. However, it would be really good if you would... If you would um, get off up here. And go that. Oh, well, it's one way. And when you come back, you should be switching lanes. So, let's get a little crossing in here to tell it to switch lanes. So, we want you to go that way. Also, you're using Catanery Ham. Uh, yeah. So, what does that do to your line now? Right, brilliant. That's better. That's better. Okay, so you come down here, come down here. You're still switching into the same line over here. I guess there's really nothing you can do about it. I don't know why you can't just go... No, that'll be fine. I think through here, it'll just have to sort out what it's doing. But at least here, it's sharing the line correctly. Uh, is it? Uh, well, no, that... Um, that... That's our oil line, isn't it? Coming from that direction. It should be switching. It should be switching. So let's uh, fix that. I don't know if you'll get a switch there. You get that there. That's how that should be going. As, uh, as annoying as that is, I guess, for that train coming in and out of here, they shouldn't be running opposite directions on there. Does that... No, no, no. And you're, you're okay there. So that's totally fine. Okay. 
Brilliant. That'll do. That will just make that work, I think. I don't think it'll upset the ebb and flow too much through here. It's pretty pretty packed down that uh, that set of line anyway. Uh, but trains seem to come at different times, so they should be okay. Right, um, are we putting in... Uh, hey now, hey now. What have we got in the way of multiple units for diesel? Oh, we do have this inner city here. Now, I know it's an inner city. But it does do 200 clickety clacks at the most. And it does take 124 capacity. And I think that's actually quite good. It is expensive to run per year. But I think given the distance, this could be actually a goer. We're going to buy it. And we're going to put it on. Uh, and this line one, we really have to name this line. And that is brilliant. Where is it? Oh, that is brilliant. Line one, by the way. So we know we're going yak to um, gap. Packs. Uh, train. And that is it. We're just going to keep it as simple as that. And I, got to be honest, I don't use the inner cities much, and I'm all about this. It looks, if you want to think about it this way, it does look a little bit more like a country link kind of train. We've got trains like this sort of in Australia that look a little bit more like a country link train anyway. And I'm all about it. It's quite a large train too, isn't it? I'm hoping that it won't be too long for the station. We're gonna have to see. I'm hoping that is not too long for our station down at the other end for it to get in and out. That is going to be. How nice is it just, ca I love when the trains are coming in and out of here. I love this whole um, depot yard. Let's just ride on board, like let's just watch this as it goes here and I'm loving it coming through all of here like how, how cool is that oh it's so good it's gonna be so nice having more trains rolling through the yard I know I'm going very fast at the moment so we're gonna zoom out just a touch it's going underneath the mining mountain geez you wouldn't want a cave in would you they're mining away for coal and then bang there's a cave in how horrible would that be uh all over the trains not what we want Okay, so here it is now, going through past the farms. Oh, it's going to look great. It's really actually not as far as you think down to here. It is, but it isn't, I think. But this is the test here. Getting in and out of here is... We might be too long. So this is what I wanted to test, and I think we're going to be. I, I Yeah, we're going to be. Okay, so it's stuck. Then why can't it just go back the same direction, Ham? It's because it has the ability to run two ways. So it could come back out and then just switch on the line. Or no, it just goes back up there. Okay. I don't think it needs to do as much as I'd like it to go around that way. Wow. I guess it just has to do it. So if we take that out, if we take that out, you're not going that way, you're going the two-way direction here. However, you should be scooting back up this side. So what it tells me is we don't have enough signals running like that. That's an odd thing to have. Uh, okay, let me see that. Okay, have you switched there? You haven't switched back. So if I tell you to run through this signal here, you will do it. Okay, that's great. Yep, that's brilliant. But what are you going to do when we get back here? This was always going to be a little bit of a uh, figure it out, kind of just carefully as we go at the moment. 
So you then come up here. Gosh knows why you come in that way. You come around here and then you come around that way. Oh my gosh. So, it, okay. So here's, sorry, let me just figure this camera up so you can see properly. So the train comes in through this direction. It then comes around here, up in here. It then does another U-turn here up into Yakhead. So it does a, basically a tour of the freight yard before it gets up and in. It's totally unnecessary, but I think it does that. Why do you do that? You don't have a switch there. Yeah, that was a totally unnecessary switch. Okay, so that switch has fixed that. That's brilliant. <laughs> I was like, that was totally unnecessary. Surely you can figure that out. And by the looks of it here, it does switch down here, but it and it does do its switching up here. That's fine. That's great. Okay, that we'll leave it like that, I think. We'll see if that it doesn't have a complaint. So we'll see if that now takes off. And heads back that way, and it does. I still think it's a bit of an overkill train because it's quite expensive to run. But if we can get the people down here. It might be fine. This bus service, we've only got two buses running on it. There's quite a few people. I'm going to add two more to it. Okay, they're going to come out over here at the bus depot. I think um, because we're starting to get... We've got 108 sitting there, 20 in there. So we have got people around the place that need to be picked up. We might even... 60 there. I think what we'll do, we might even get two more. I'm happy for the buses to run at a... Um, negative, you know, like the, the commuting services that help support the bigger services. I always don't mind if they run with a slight negative because you make it up in the actual uh, bigger service down here. So, and that seems to be coming through fine there. Okay, really, we can check in on that later just to see how that's going for today. Let's now come down here and start getting this in. So, I've got, I've got two options here I'm not sure about. Option one, we put in a couple of ferry terminals from here to here and we just ferry people across, which is not a bad option. Option two, when we put the train in, we have the train do a really nice little scenic thing through this way, around into Hammerhead Bay, and then back up into Sandy Shores and then up to the Gap. There are a couple of options to go with. It does, it was going to affect my thoughts on what I wanted to do in terms of what station I wanted to use here. But I don't think I'll let it do that. So for today, what we're going to focus on is just Sandy Shores. We'll have a think about how we're going to hook up Hammerhead Bay because then it's important because we still have Crafty Carts and Chipper to get hooked up as well in that sort of triangle just there, right? So that's still something to think about there. We don't need to be going that fast, by the way. We can slow it down, slow it down. Uh, okay, so Sandy Shores is a is a bit of a mess, I'll be honest. Like the way it's laying itself out, I don't mind how the AI lays itself out, but for what we want to do, it looks like a bit of a mess. Can we just also look at... You've got your residence over this side mostly. So the train could come in this side of town and scoot back out, or it can come in and go back out that way. Which is a shorter run. That'll be a slightly longer. I uh, it doesn't bother me if trains take a little bit longer. It's it's just never really bothered me. So I'm gonna take these out first. I'm actually gonna take that out too, because that's potentially gonna be in the way. Um train building wise. They don't wanna have a ridiculous station. They kind of want they kind of really just want a little country link sort of looking station. You know what I mean? Something that looks a little bit countryish, and I I don't have one. I don't have one. So we might put in something today and then switch it out at a later date. Uh, we are going to go 240. Is 240 going to be too big? By the time you come around here, it doesn't matter when you turn into the station. It doesn't matter if the train goes slow. It doesn't need to fly into the station at, you know, 200, like, light speeds, thanks. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're only going to give it two. I'm going to keep it 
I'm going to switch out the track. I've got to switch it out manually. I'm going to, so train could come in. It's going to be a tight squeeze if it does do that and a tight squeeze to get it out. However, I could shoot that way and around there. I don't really want to, but I could. Or, like I said, well, it's going to be helping us if we, if we decide we want to head that way. Yeah, I think that's your best bet. So I'm actually going to put it about, actually, you know, we could put it about here and send people out there. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to fix that road too. Um, I'm going to put it here like this, okay? I'm actually going to straighten this road. Leave that. Take that out. Okay, first let me configure this before I forget. Otherwise, I will forget. Now, I am... I know that uh, we're not so much running catenary down here, but I'm going to run the Portuguese catenary. Uh, Portuguese double block concrete sleepers. Is that the one we're using? Portuguese double block. No, we're running this one. Hang on. Portuguese single block concrete with sleepers. I think that's the one we're running. If not, I can switch it out later. I don't know if we're running that one actually. That just looks like high speed. Why does that look like high speed? I think it's meant to be that one. Ah. Uh, Try that again. I think it, I think I got the wrong one. That looks a bit better. One more in here. That's need to be out. Yeah, that looks a heck of a lot better. We might be coming in off the water. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Right. Uh, this road here. I'm going to switch it to a large city road. Or like a large street that is we're going to come I don't want to come right on top of it because what I want to do here so maybe we'll put the building in first I'm gonna give it one of these buildings well that's not gonna fit ooh got it too close okay put the street in may as well put it in right up against it yep okay what are you doing down here? Um, yeah, it runs into a bit of a pimple into a pumpkin, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, crikey! I like this causeway thing you've got going on here. You kind of need a roundabout. Like that's what would need to go there. That looks silly. I will run this road like that. I will run the large one into it like that. That's how that will finish. Vice versa. I'll just do that. That's how it caps that off. Um, all right, I'll put these back together. I may not put you back together like that yet, but let me just see. Oh no, I can get that in there. Weirdly. Are you going to be better that way? I'm gonna say yes. I want you in that way. I want you in that way. Do I want to run a double? I'll give you double trouble. I don't. I actually don't. I just want to keep it this, the single one. That's going to help me get the roads back in. I don't know if I want a junction there. I'm going to send you like that. And then I'm actually going to send you like that. Yep. And I'm going to do the same here. And here. I'm going to leave those strips. Hopefully the AI just build into those. I just don't want another junction there. It's just, it's a traffic nightmare sometimes. Not that this town's super huge and has a lot of traffic issues at the moment, but honestly, I think that'll be better. 
Okay. Uh, am I going to worry about the train station here in terms of buildings? Not really yet. I'm going to put in some more bus service and we'll get a city commuting thing around here actually. We'll do that now. We'll take you. So we've got a bus stop there. Uh, we're going to have to get up. Okay. This is where you have to look at the town and go, how do I want my bus service to go? Well, I want it to come out down here. So we're going to have you split off. Keeping you flat. And I don't mind a little bit of tunnel there. Like that. I think that'll be quite nice. That can go like that. Anywhere else you're worried about hookups? I don't think so. I think we can work with that. So you're coming out of there. Uh, you're coming. You need to kind of go this way. And there. Then you're going to scoot up. So you could make a turn up here. Right up through the middle of town would be better. So you could come up here. Swing back around. Go there. And then head up to there. Okay. Pretty simple. Pretty short but simple. So let's go new line. So just so we remember we're going here to there. Then I said there. To there. To there. And that should give us that. Uh, that cut in and out loop that we've got going on Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, except I kind of wanted you to go out that way. I guess that doesn't matter Did want to utilize the now nah, just leave it if that's the way it wants to go. That's the way it wants to go, right? Let's just put um, Let's just call it what it is and it's sandy Shores commuter bus okay um we don't have the ability to buy vehicles for it well if you we could buy them from up here and send them down that's not a bad idea we would have to join this road back up i'm okay to do that yeah i can fix up the road and stuff later let's get country road here Let's just get that hooked up over to here first. Oops. Like that. Take this one out. Okay. Whatever. Uh, okay. Let's go buy some trucks up here at the uh, thing. Because they won't take too long to get down there. We'll only take two for this. Passenger buses. Let's go with, um, I like these BK670s, they're kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's go with the two of those things. They take 21, that's more than enough for the moment, I think. And we're going Cape, no, we're going, um, what was it, Coral Shores, Muter Bus, is that it? I've forgotten already. And you're saying you can't get there? Oh, well, hang on. The road should come down here. You should have connection. Oh, it's Sandy Shores. Oops, not Coral Shores, Sandy Shores. Ah, that's better. I was like, you do have the ability to get down there. Sandy Shores, not Coral Shores. Okay. Let's look at, oh, look, people are starting to be back. Let's get our train track in now, shall we? Track, track. Track, track. So we definitely want the Portuguese. Um, that one. And we'll go in catenary. We are probably going to put something electric on this. Let's work off this direction first. We knew this was going to be a sharp bend in. Leave that for the moment. Let's work. Let's work from this way because we know where we're coming off and where, where we're heading down at the moment. So we're coming, um, bring you down here, I think, like that, yeah, and this is going to be quite nice, just flush with that road just there, It'll give us just a nice execution around up into here, that'll be nice, and then down 
here. We're gonna have to kind of bend to the road a little bit like that. But around here, we're gonna get caught out with how we turn around here. That's slow. Maybe we might have to take our turn just a little bit like that. Keeping it above the 100s. Keeping that above 100. That's nice. I don't often worry about speed too much, but if you can keep it at a good at a good click a lot of the way, it works out well. Now, I don't know if we're running flat here. I'm, I'm actually magnet like I'm... It's almost like a magnet to the road. It's clipping to the road's heights. So hopefully we're not roller coasting this a little bit. We are going to run like that. I want to keep a good click out that way so we can get a good um, entry turn into that way. And this will look quite nice going along the uh, along the actual farm line and along the actual water. I think that's a really will be a really nice little travel along. Down there, down there. Down, 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 down. This is when we start to get into the territory where I need to figure out what we want to do. And I'm thinking I want to cut in. Th See, if I cut in through this way, it's probably just going to go under the mountain anyway and then just pop out back over here. But coming around this way is going to be a little bit tougher. But geez, it's going to look nice, isn't it? Are we about look nice? I think we're more about look nice, aren't we? Uh, if you can come this way for me. What do you got in the way? What bridge are you using? Not that one, please. Uh, what do you got in the way of something just short, sweet, and elegant? Like me. <laughs> Can we use that? I'm happy to use that. Yeah, just a low um, supporting girder. Because we're, we're not high up. We're still running flat. I think this is a good thing. I think this is a good decision. And in fact, I don't know... If I'm go, I don't know if I'm going to run this up that way. I think I want to run back the same way, just because I think it's such a nice, nice track. I'm going to keep you flat. We're going to cut you over there, and you are going to do a little mountain cut. We're going with the same bridge. Okay. You're going to have to cut. Um, ooh, now this is where we get trickier. Hmm. You need to come in. We're going to have to probably do this in a tight sort of way. Because you are... I want to keep you as tight as you can here. We're still above 100, which is fine. Get our bridge. Can you come like that? Yes. Yes. And it'll be nice when the ships sort of sail past and they see this train rolling along the... um mountain line here as well and the and the water over the water over the mountain in a tunnel you just don't like they're the lines you dream of just having little things like this like oh it's just so it's just gonna be so nice and the ship's coming around right this one's a little bit trickier you are slowing down much lower than 100 here you're coming let's just plug you in and see what you make of it that's what you make of it which is above, a, uh, you turn to 88 just here, but that's okay because uh, Back to the Future called and they need to get up to 88 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, if they want to time travel, that's what they're going to do. I think that's how we're going to leave the line for this, for today. We're actually going to put in a, I'm not going to do, well, I was going to do the diamond on this corner, but it's quite steep. I think we'll do the diamond out here. I don't even think we need a diamond, we just need a switch. That's it. That is actually it. If I just now do this along here. We'll only be probably running one train at the moment, but just so we establish the directions. Okay, put in our block work. Get it down here. Okay. Brilliant, and then onto here, so it is going to have to share the track. We'll figure out the signals here later. <sighs> yep, yep. In and out, and then we'll have it come into this side of the station. How are we doing for people here? We've got 31 here at the moment. How is that line doing? 
it's losing a lot of money but it'll take a while i think for people to start catching on hey that's what we're doing once we start getting more people shipped in here as well it might help the situation out i did go ahead and put a heap of fencing down here by the way i started doing a little bit more decoration i haven't quite got there yet but we'll get there eventually uh this station i've still got to fix out its train lines as well now we're not running catenary through here which we need to and it sucks because i really like we are running catenary i really like the non-catenary look but we gotta do it so we're running that one yes we're gonna have to do upgrades here here yeah ah oh, that's gonna be yucky poo because you have to come back in are you switching for us yes you need to be um yeah okay you know what i'm gonna do it up to the tunnel and the tunnel will hide the stopping of the catenary there and we're just uh, unfortunately i'm gonna have to just make it all catenary which is okay because the station had it the other thing is ham you have to get it you have to get you get you have to do all catenary you know why i've got no way i've got no way for the train to get out here i don't damn it i was trying to avoid doing this as much as i could down here but it's just too bad it just has to happen now which sucks because i prefer to roll like i just said catenary if i don't non-catenary if i if i can if I can. Basically. In a nutshell. Uh, oh, now this might be a little bit harder. Oh, dear. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can roll out of here. I wonder if we can roll out of that shed. Ha <laughs> uh. Yeah. Oh, we'll give it a go anyway. Uh, that should be... Look, I say it should be all hooked up and it should be all the tannery. But you just never know, do you? You really just do never know. Uh, get the line in here. Just see what happens. All right, so we know we're going from here. And we know we're going down to here. And you're switching. You're doing all the switching fine. We need to go back up where we think we're going to have the most drama. Which is around here. So, uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. We don't have to worry about the signalling here at the moment because we're making the, that train go that way only. Oh, okay, brilliant, 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 brilliant. How many people have you got on board? You've got twenty only. So yak, because look, as we know, Yakhead is not a huge town, uh, city, town, whatever you want to call it. We know it's not huge, so it doesn't really have a lot of people. But what I'm hoping is this is going to have a knock-on effect because. Typically, Yakhead hasn't had a lot of passengers at it for the other train services either. So hopefully, we're going to start feeding more people into how they get around the map. And that might have a knock-on effect. Alright, so you'll you'll be okay. We'll just keep you going the way you are. We could probably switch you out for Retreat for Electric, to be honest. Uh, have that go like that. Have um, Sandy to... Uh, where are we? The gap? Uh, we'll just put gap, packs, train. Okay, I'm just keeping up very simple naming conventions at the moment. Yeah, it's going to be, I guess we just have to see now to make sure that we we have done everything electrified. Through here, we are going to have a bit of an awkward, no we're not, I've done electrification all the way through. I should have just run with the same train, but running the same train on that run would have been detrimental. So we do have the ability to get this. I don't know what bay. Like when you buy from the you buy from these bays here, right? I don't know what bay that is. I don't know if it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, 
I guess if we try and go, is there like a number three here? Where are we? Where, um, Yakhead Train Depot. Uh, train Depot 2 or 1? That's Train Depot 2. So we want Yakhead Train Depot. And then I guess if we just go... So we've picked 1, 2. Let's try and hit 3 because we know that 3 is the one. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, we know that 3... It either goes one, two, three, or one, two, three. And we're gonna hit it. <laughs> okay, let's see this. I could be completely wrong about this. Right, what are we gonna run on this? We, we can just run something cheap, I think, to make up for the fact that we... The other one is so expensive. But... I mean, the Mirage is a great one because it is kind of cheap. It does take 57 people, which is probably all we need for that at the moment. It does 125. It doesn't need to go super quick up and down that line. It just needs to get people lifted and shift. I think we're going to go with the Mirage just to get it running because we've spent so much on the inner city. So we're going to add that. We're going to buy it. We're going to set it on. Now it was Sandy to Gap. Ah, I knew it. Now... Now, how now, brown cow? Is it because... Now. Is it because our... Oh, because this is not electrified. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Um, and there's no way I can upgrade you. Did I need to put you in as like Oh, dear. If I have to pull that out and put it back in... I don't know if it's going to like that. Okay, let's... I did buy that train, did I not? Yeah. Let's sell you. I don't know if this is going to work. If I, uh, if I... Oh, dear. Okay, I'm going to try this anyway. I don't really want to pull it out, but I have to. It could be... I'm just going to pause here for a second. <sighs> I should have saved. I didn't. It's my own fault. Oh, thank gosh. I was looking in the wrong tab. Okay, so I think I had that color. I did. And I want... Um, I'm happy to go with the standard glaze. I don't, it doesn't matter what... Well, see if the... Por no, the Portuguese in there. Just run the standard 15. It is only just coming out. I don't know if this is going to work. Can we... Uh, yeah, yeah. You'll be fine like that. Please plug in... You had it, you had it, you had it, you had it. You had it. <gasps> oh, stop it. It's, it's gone back in. And I've got the electrification. Oh, yeah, please, 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 please. It doesn't, it doesn't actually line up. Is that? Oh, it does. It just has a weird connection at the top. Ooh, let's see if we get electrification. So we want... We want um, Yakhead Train Depot. Yakhead Road Depot. Yakhead 1, 2, 3, I think we want, don't we? Oh, there's, there's multiple. There's multiple. Uh, I actually don't know. It's going to take me a bit now. Is this Yakhead Train Depot? It is. Good news, I figured it out. It only took me three goes, and I got there in the end. <laughs> hey, that's what I like to hear. So, we're going to do this as our track ride along today, gang. Enjoy this track ride along. We've seen the Mirage before, okay? We've ridden, we've ridden on it plenty of times. Enjoy this little track ride along. We will do it from... Um... We will do it from the actual front because I think that'll be the best way to do it. And I think, you know what, we'll do it from the front coming out of here as well just because it looks so nice. Okay, so thanks for hanging out today. Let me know if you th what you think about Sandy Shores.
to Hammerhead Bay. We could run a little ferry service in there, or we could run the train service around, which might look nice as well. In two minds, I'll make a decision for that next episode anyway, and we'll keep cracking on with it. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe, stay glued to your screen, and I'll see you guys very soon. Get out of here.